Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing Yandere Able, S aka SCP 076 2, X Soulmate Jackie Bright, X Yandere Kane, S aka SCP 073, and they are Yandere for her, as and she is both of their soulmates. Now, a quick rundown soul marks are. Tattooed on the wrist. Hers were removed when she was a child. And and only when she gets a new body did they come re rear tattooed on her wrist when she took over a new body with the amulet and mortality that she had. Abel always had hers, but never knew who she was and never wanted a soulmate because he had hers for thousands and thousands of years and never met her until he killed her. And also, oh yeah, if you want to see this video, I have somewhere linked at the beginning of the video, part one of this, so you can go ch the intro, teaser, all that stuff, and check that out, check that out. And also, if you want to see anything in this mini series, comment below what you would like to see, and all that good stuff. And I will do my best to do it, but first of all, Wicked Brony, the one who requested this, because this is a Patreon video, they get first dibs on everything, obviously. And also, uh, it I have on the 25th of August, I have my birthday, on my community tab somewhere near the top right now, at the time of this video being posted, uh, there's a Q&A where you can comment anything you want to ask me and I'll take a screenshot and then read it off in a video of what questions and answering it in the Q&A for August 25th. Keep an eye out for that and look out in the community tab and ask whatever you want to ask. Anyways, let's get to the disclaimers. Disclaimer number one, Jack Bright slash Jackie Bright is not in no longer a self insert for admin Bright. Admin Bright is an online predator who tried to do not good things with possible minors. And yeah, that's not okay. So he's been ostracized, or what, I don't know if I'm using that word right, kicked out of the community basically because no one wants that type of person in the community. But he had Jack Bright as an self insert, but more people have added to Jack Bright's character than just Admin Bright. So we are going to be having Jack Bright as a standalone character built on what the community has built him on and not just what admin bright wanted him to be anyways that's that now disclaimer number two abel and kane are not yandere and canon and not jack bright slash jackie bright's soulmate in canon this is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all simping for fictional characters and fictional yandere's is fine and shipping fictional characters and fictional yandere slash darlings is fine as long as you're not illegal or gross about it and that you separate head canon from canon and um reality from fiction well fiction from reality and also remember that yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life now jackie bright uh is the female version of jack bright gender bent aka she was born female and becomes sort of gender fluid when she becomes immortal well she is always gender fluid but she can switch bodies and become any physical gender that of the body she has and she identifies identifies at that gender Okay, there's that. And also, last thing, uh, the multiverse is very big, so somehow in the multiverse, this scenario of the Yandere's and Soulmates for Jackie Bright, and Jackie Bright being Jackie Bright, could be very possible. Anyways, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Once Abel was neutralized, D-Class were cleaning the halls. This is when one of the D-Class picks up an amulet on the ground. Suddenly, the D-Class was no longer Emily Walker, but Jackie Bright. Her once blonde hair and blue eyes turned in red to red hair and green eyes. I added that part so it's easier for you to visualize what Jackie looks like. Thank you. But that is not in the anomaly power that Jack slash Jackie Bright has. Jackie was trapped in the amulet, and when someone touched it, she became them, taking over their mind and body, and the other one just being wiped from existence. Jackie goes up to a guard she knew. She insisted that she was the Jackie Bride, unaware she had two new soulmate marks on her skin, the ones that her parents have gotten rid of. 
The names Abel and Cain were in on her wrists in their native language, so she did not know what they mean. One in red ink as he was currently dead, a.k.a. in his tomb yet to be resurrected. They get into her into enter room after... Only after several people handled the amulet and they were all ended up with red hair and green eyes, eventually lifeless and because they didn't last to the 30 day mark. Jackie Bright wears the amulet and sits in the room waiting for someone to come in. A researcher comes in and speaks. Miss Walk, my name is Jackie Bright. I am a researcher here. Jackie cuts the researcher off. All right, Dr. Bright, the researcher said, looking at the D. She was still in the D-class uniform, so it was a bit jarring. With what has come to be known, you will still work here, but you will not be allowed to leave. Do you understand, the researcher says? Jackie nods her head. Now, we have noticed something. You have two soulmate marks that appear on everybody that touches the amulets. But your original body has no soul marks? My parents, they removed my marks when I was a child. One of them, I, he kept dying and coming back to life. They never told me who he was, but I think they knew who he was because he has anomalous properties, obviously. The researcher nods. We think that your soulmates are SCP-073 and SCP-076-2. Their names are both the same as Abel and Cain trans when translated. We examined the tattoos that SCP-076 has in the photos, and he has your soul mark. Jackie is on his eh, Jackie on his wrist, where his soul mark should be. We also asked Cain about his soul mark, if he had one, who felt your death. A, 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 sorry, tongue twister. He was distressed and confirmed that his soulmate died, but then this came back. That is, and that it said Jackie before he had his limbs removed. The researcher explains. The O5 Council is going to run some tests with this. But it looks like they are your soulmates. Jackie looks at her soul marks. Memories of them when she was a child. The first time the one that was must have been Abel's turned red. Waking up one day without them. The distress she clenched her fist and nods. What do we do now? She asks. But one thing was for sure. Even though the connection was made. And she could now feel her Soul connected to her soulmates, well, not right now, Abel, since he was decommissioned at this time. Uh, she did not want to deal with him. She did not want anything to do with him. He killed her and didn't give it a second thought. She was hurt by that, but also she wanted nothing to do with him because she was so angry that he disregarded her so easily. It was pain and hurt and also resentment, because now she was possibly immortal, and she may never be able to find peace. I added the, a lot of that stuff. It's not going to be in the written part of this, so just a heads up. Abel in his, Meanwhile, elsewhere in the facility, Abel is in his tomb. He feels the mark come back to life. He feels the connection be made. Somehow, his soulmate is alive. He needs to get out. He needs to find her, and nothing will stop him. He is ready to find her and keep her, no matter what. I would like to give a shout out to Gav Imp for being the artist for all the three photos that you're going to see in this video. All the art credit goes to her. I will have her linked in the description and first comment for you to check out. Thank you. And also, thank you to Wicked Brony for being the one who requested this and Gav Imp and Wicked Brony for helping making this idea possible and working out the details in their request to make this possible. You are both fabulous and wonderful and I will thank you at the end of the video uh, as my patrons. Thank you and let's do this. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more of this, you know what to do. If there's anything you would like to see, comment it below and I will do my best to do it. I will consult Wicked Brony before that because 
she gets the final say since this was her request. And yes, I hope that you all enjoyed. And yes, if you want to stay till the end of the video uh, to check out if the you want to see part one or see other SCP stuff with Jackie Bright and Abel and Kane and Jackie and Jack Bright and Abel and just all that stuff, shipping the Jack slash Jackie Bright with Abel and Kane all the time. Yes, I hope that you all enjoyed this. Thank you, Gav, for being my first patron. You are wonderful. You are fabulous. You are beautiful. You are chef's kiss. Thank you. Did I say Gav or Wicked Brony? Okay, thank you. And thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. You are wonderful. You are fabulous. You are chef's kiss. Both of you are wonderful and beautiful and chef kiss. Love ya. And yes, I hope that you all enjoyed this. And stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye. Secret outro time. Secret outro time. Secret outro. Secret outro. Secret outro. Secret outro. If you were in the position of Jackie Bright, would you stay mad at Abel since he killed you and thus made you immortal in a way? Yes or no? I'd be angry at first right away. I don't know how long I would hang on to that anger, but I would be pissed. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.